see when we come up to it. Here we come. Ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day that my bride is going to come. Oh, Lord, we're going to fly down to the easy chair. Here's the harmonica. Right behind, tomorrow's the day that my bride is going to come. Oh, Lord, we're going to fly down to the easy chair. Ooh, we right behind, tomorrow's the day that my bride is going to come. Oh, Lord, we're going to fly down to the easy chair. Well, I said, oh, Lord. We're gonna fly down to the easy chair. I was scared of dentists and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversation All oh, my friends are turning green You the magician's assistant in their dreams Ooh Ooh When they come on stuff Running down to the rooftop, taking away to the dark side. I'm gonna be your left hand man. I love you when you're singing that song. I got a love for my pro does. We're gonna sing the words wrong. This is movie that I think you like. This guy decides to get a job and head to New York City. This cowboy's running from his cell. He's been sitting on the highest shelf. Ooh, 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 they found monster. They did running down to the rooftop, taking away to the dark side. I'm gonna be your left hand man. I love you when you're singing that song. Yeah. I got a with my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay I just wanna, I just wanna I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay I just wanna, I just wanna know if you're gonna, if you're gonna, any other way, I swear she's destined for the screen. The closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. Lady. Singing that song, yeah. I got a lump for my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. Lady, running down to the rooftop, taking away to the dark side. I'm gonna be your left hand man. I love you when you sing that song, yeah. I got a lump for my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. I got a lump for my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong.
alligator, see you later. Gonna hit the road, gonna hit the road. Something changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I'd get used to this. Time flies by, give me a lower green to go around. You see what I mean? There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Deep like a someone. Whoa! Shotgun underneath the hot sun, you like a summer. Whoa! South of the equator, navigator, gonna hit the road, gonna hit the road. You teamed up and around the clock, bikini bottoms, like a top. Well, I can get you to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green Stick around if you see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feel like a someone Whoa! I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feel like a someone Whoa, you got two in the front, two in the back, spinning around and we don't look back. Two in the front, two in the back, spinning around and we don't look back. Back, 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 Stick around, you see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. Cause I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like the summer. Whoa, whoa. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like the summer. Whoa, I'll be riding shotgun. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go away and leave you all alone? Oh, no, I got a bad desire. Oh, 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 oh I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? Can he do all the bad things that I do? Oh, no, I can take you higher. Oh, oh, oh I'm on fire. Sometimes it's like someone took a nap, baby, a dream done And by the sixteenth better be the middle of my soul mm, And then I wake up with the sheets soaking wet And a freight train running to the middle of my head over you To my desire Oh, I'm on fire Sometimes it's like someone took a nap, baby, edgy and dull. I'm not a sick, 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 sick,
Dear Yves Galair, August Falter Gatus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very welcome to the Technological University of the Shannon Conferring Ceremony. My name is Terry Toomey, and I'll be your Master of Ceremonies for today. A couple of housekeeping items before we begin. The emergency exits from this auditorium are through the glass doors marked with the green exit signs. Before we begin the formal proceedings, may I remind you to please switch off all mobile phones. The formal proceedings commence this morning with the academic procession. I now invite you to please stand for the academic procession. Please be seated. I will begin by introducing the members of the conferring panel to you. To my left is Dr. Maura Clancy, Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology. Next is Professor Vincent Canaan, President of Technological University of the Shannon. Next is Ms. Josephine Feely, Chair of the Governing Body of TUS. Next is Dr. Liam Brown, Vice President for Research, Development and Innovation. And finally, Dr. Carl Glynn, Assistant Registrar of TUS. I now call on the Chair of the Governing Body, Ms. Josephine Feely, to deliver the graduation address. Thank you, Dr. Toomey. Gary Margaret. Bolo year of accordia. August. Fear Queen Fall to Roivan Show, or Majin. Majin Gal Show. Is more on an ordum, so Fall to Karoiv. Quig and Shermanish Bronte Kema, the Quid Old School Technilic than the Shanine. Can ship show round Gauvila Fesabo, a hint is a Kalura. Cohorgeous live Galair. Welcome, distinguished guests, on this nice, bright morning. It might be chilly, but at least it's dry. Um, and in November, we'll take that. A special welcome to you, the class of 2022. 
Today we recognise and celebrate you. Congratulations to all of you. Standing with you here today, I'm very conscious that during your time in college, your student life was impacted in all sorts of ways by the pandemic. But you met those challenges, and this deserves special recognition. Your journey through college reminds me of the words of Martin Luther King when he said, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. So today at this ceremony, we recognize your singular achievement. The character you have shown and the knowledge you have acquired will help to propel you not just in your careers, but also in your lives. You've shown the qualities to meet the challenges of our world. And I hope in turn we have helped you to gain the wisdom to use your talents well. You're graduating at a time when the world is a very uncertain place with a land war in Europe, an energy crisis, significant inflation for the first time in about two decades, and a pandemic that just doesn't seem to want to go away. But it is also unmistakable that you're graduating into a strong Irish labour market where there is real and consistent demand for talent, for people with your qualifications and with the focus, resilience and agility that you have shown. And that is very good news, and long may it continue. In Thus, we believe in providing an education that makes people ready for life and for the workplace. And we believe that this education should be as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. It's at the very heart of what we do, and we believe that by removing barriers to education, we will create a virtuous cycle throughout our region and beyond. And it was that disposition which led us in Thus to build on the work done by our founding Institutes of Technology to shortly become the first technological university to be designated a university of sanctuary, welcoming refugees, asylum seekers and migrants who might otherwise encounter difficulties in accessing higher education. We are well placed to do this as a diverse university with staff and students from about 100 countries on our campuses, and an ethic of openness and support which pervades our work. Nobody makes it through college without support, particularly in the circumstances you have experienced. And I would like to say a special word of thanks to the staff of Thuse across all the university's functions, from the people who open the doors in the morning to the president who never seems to go home. They not only formed this technological university against the backdrop of a pandemic, but they made incredible efforts to keep our campuses and to keep you, our students, safe and to maintain the delivery of your education and your supports in uncertain circumstances. And so too to your family and friends joining us today. I would like to acknowledge the central role you have played in supporting the graduates on their journey through college to get to this stage. This is a proud moment for you too, and I hope you all enjoy it. Graduands, today marks an end for you, but also a new beginning. Everyone here is proud of you and proud of what you have done. You should be proud of yourselves, and I hope you're also proud of the university for which, of which you are now an alumnus. Congratulations once more. Even if your studies have finished for now, I encourage you to keep learning. For me, every day is a school day, and I hope it will be the same for you as you journey through life. There's an Irish saying, which translates as a walking foot finds something that a resting foot wouldn't. But in a nutshell, it's about succeeding by lifting your foot to start a journey. So I encourage you to lift your feet and I wish you every success in the next phase of your life's journey, wherever that takes you.
Karamele Machrev is Kanari Liv Galer. I now call on the President to formally confer the academic awards on the graduates. Harkyon the Hall School Technology Nashona, Larchira Iherlar, Bruno Dagnak Tani, or Oglomori in the Hall School Technology Acta, Tataris and Kagdan Shin of Anchamak, Oxirm Kurf and the Hoglomori Shin of Malahar, Kunabar, Hobart Div, Goformul. On behalf of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, I hereby confer awards on the learners of the university who have achieved the standards for those awards. And I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchment. I now call on the Dean of Faculty to present the conferees for award. Good morning everyone and welcome. Chair, President, Registrar, academic staff, family and guests. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology. Graduands, you will have many celebrations over your lifetimes, but today will rank as one of the special ones because today is a celebration of achievement. You have not been handed this. You have had to work for it. You have earned the right to be here. On behalf of the entire faculty, I offer you my heartiest congratulations. As the chair has said, at any time obtaining a degree is commendable. But given that a pandemic has formed the background to much of your study, I think you would all agree that on this occasion it means even more. While today is your day, it is also a very special day for many others and our President will uh, make sure that they are all acknowledged and thanked. As Dean, I would like to salute one group in particular and that is your academic staff. I know the lengths they go to. I know what they invest their interest and enthusiasm, their dedication and care has been central to you getting here today. On your behalf, I sincerely thank them. Please keep in touch. You will always be part of the TUS community. We will follow your careers with interest and pride. You're independent now. You are ready for the next phase of your lives. On behalf of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, I now call on the President of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, Professor Vincent Conan, to formally confer the awards of the university. I now call on the President of the Technological University of the Shannon, Midlands Midwest, Professor Vincent Condan, to present the parchments to graduates of the Department of Information Technology and request the Head of Department of Information Technology, Dr. Janice O'Connell, to announce the graduates. President, 
I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Information Technology, and are worthy of their award, and I request you to present their parchments to them. Kian Quish. Thomas Carroll. Owen Collins. Gabrielle Neil Suarez de Paiva. Carolis Margellis. Ian O'Flynn. Edwin O'Mara. Blessing Noyamin Omori. Ahmed Wislati. Alan Quigley. Jervis Say. Bachelor of Science Honours in Games Design and Development, Devlin Marcus. <laughs> Dermot O'Donoghue. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Internet Systems Development, Stephen Barry. Alex Oldstorn. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Internet Systems Development, Shad Abu Baker. <laughs> Pierce Griffin. Fayaz Kadir Ahmed Ikram. <laughs> Zee Min Lim. <laughs> Ross McInerney. Joe Maloney. Adam Maroney. Patrick Moyles. Bachelor of Science in Interactive Digital Media, Liam Duffy. <laughs> Rebecca Holden. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Interactive Digital Media, Owen Canty. Melanie Daly Meehan. <laughs> Ian 
Igor Harlamov. Katie Hussey. Mark Johnson. Gavin Kennedy. Rory McMahon. David Paulet. Scott Smith. Severin Strazek. Joanna Chloe Young. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Software De Development, Kennedy Akuboise. <laughs> Mario Barsoon. Matthias Bober. <laughs> Lewis Brown. <laughs> Miguel Castañeda. Jordan Cork. <laughs> Dylan Cummins. <laughs> Adrian Chakalski. Kean Dealey. <laughs> Sirsha Dealey. <laughs> Sagar Kandel. Jack Kelly. <laughs> Callum Noble. <laughs> Pavel Pindel in absentia. <laughs> Rebecca Ryan. Alexander Ryan. <laughs> Higher Diploma in Science and Software Development, Helen Biggs. <laughs> Shibweze Donald Maduke. Brian McSweeney. <laughs> Co
Colm Nicol. And Bill Rawlings. So on behalf of the Department of IT, I'd like to say congratulations. And I have one last request. I'd like you to move your tassel from the right to the left as you're now graduates. Well done. I now call on the President of the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, Professor Vincent Canan, to present the parchments to graduates of the Department of Applied Science and request the Head of Department of Applied Science, Dr. Daniel Walsh, to announce the graduates. President, President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Science, and are worthy of their award. I request you present their parchments to them. Bachelor of Science in Applied Biology, William Armshaw. Emma Casey. Scott Cullity. Laura Etiker Ense. Brianna Fahey. James Fennessy. Linda Hajru Lahu. Michelle Mitchell. <laughs> Killian Nestor. <laughs> Gerard Kelly O'Connell. <laughs> In absentia. Jessica O'Leary. Jennifer O'Reilly. Jessica Shire Williams. Amy Tuhi. <laughs> Molly Vincent. <laughs> Keith Walsh. Bachelor of Science Honours in Bioanalysis and Biotechnology, Rain Chola Katube. Yeah. 
Alexander Chiswick. Jekaterina Demenkova. Denise Doherty. Michaela Fitzgerald. Dara Hayes. Jamie Hearns. Aoife Kiley. Alan Koshi. Liam Loftus. Clara Madden. Evelyn McGee. Amy Quinlisk. Shane Quinn. Aoife Roach. Zoe Roach. Sinead Ronan. Ludmilla Sev Jehovah. Robin Stanley. <laughs> Carrie Ann Stewart. <laughs> Alison Toomey. Amy Walsh. Evan Walsh. Bachelor of Science in Drug and Medicinal Product Analysis, Astel Nara Kapara. Bachelor of Science Honours in Drug and Medicinal Product Analysis, Teresa Birmingham. <laughs> Brian Curtin. <laughs> Patrick Kelly.
Abigail McCann. Nathan O'Connor. John Tuhi. Mary Yang. Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental Management and Agriculture, Roisin Burke. <laughs> Neil Kennedy. <laughs> Mark Mullally. Aileen Shanahan. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Environmental and Geographical Sciences, Connor Craven. Bachelor of Science Honours in Environmental and Geographical Sciences, Sarah Hayden. <laughs> Kieran Kennedy. Jonathan Noonan. Thomas Peters. Bachelor of Science Honours in Forensic and Pharmaceutical Sciences, Kira Barry. Katrina Bonzinskas. <laughs> Thomas Burke. <laughs> Robert Cleary. Cyan Cook. <laughs> Sam De Oka. <laughs> Megan Doherty. Claudia Di Markowska. <laughs> Nicole Fitzgerald. <laughs> Mariam Hamad. Kira Hogan. Jack Kingston. <clears throat> 
Sarah Mangan. Sinead McCarthy. James Minahan. Michelle Moore. Arzu Nazir. Neve O'Brien. Luke O'Neill. Greg O'Shea. Isabella Otu. Colin Ryan. Sophie Ryder. Amber Whelan. Over the last year, we were greatly saddened to lose one of our own fourth-year forensics and pharmaceutical science students, the late Adam Galvin. President Adam Galvin is worthy of his award, Bachelor of Science Honours in Forensic and Pharmaceutical Science, and I request that you present his parchment to his family. Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Mariama Abdul Ahai. <clears throat> Michaela Howard. Paul Lyons. Kira McCarthy.
Caitlin Quinn. Magdalena Waluziak. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Medical Technology, Ashling Dillon. <laughs> Roxana Kotwicka. Rachel Lennon. Patrick Lorkowski. Denise Maloney. Gavin O'Keefe. <laughs> Neve Powell. <laughs> Jack Pryor. Shane Roach. James Smith. Master of Science by Research, Joanne McGushin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Professor, uh, President Kanan. Um, I'd just like to take a moment to, to pass on a big congratulations and, and ask for a big applause for the Department, uh, Department of Applied Science graduates of 2022. And can I ask, like the head of IT, can our graduates please move their tosses over as well? Thank you very much. I now call on the president of the Technological University of the Shannon Midlands Midwest, Professor Vincent Canan, to present the parchments to the graduates of the Department of Applied Social Sciences and request the head of Department of Applied Social Sciences, Dr. Melinda Gouchois, to announce the graduates. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the Faculty of Applied Social Sciences and Technology Department of Applied Social Sciences and are worthy of their award. I request you present their parchments to them. For the Bachelor of Arts Honors in Community Development, Beth Ardell. Lara Buhen. John Clancy.
Claudia Kodlinska. Garrod Quilty. For the Bachelor of Arts in Social Care Work. My apologies, I missed someone. A big shout out for Craig O'Brien for Community <laughs> Development. <laughs> Sorry about that, Craig. I'll get you on the outside. Now, for the Bachelor of Arts in Social Care Work, Kate, Kate Archbold. <laughs> Derek Burns. Amy Hewitt. <laughs> Siobhan Kanan. <laughs> Ivan Lacalisi. Wesley McNamara. Patrick O'Callaghan. Martin O'Gorman O'Callaghan. Barbara Quirk. Jade Roach Condon. Chantelle Sheehan. Lena Tanner. <laughs> Kelly Tui. <laughs> Arunsola Alfred. Kira Allen. Erica Allen Mulcair. Hostensia Anchi. Mark Bannon. <laughs> Julianne Barrington. <laughs> Bo
Renata Barras. Amanda Bergen. Ryan Brown. Sinead Buckley. Nicola Burke. Russell Carey. <laughs> Neve Collins. Sarah Costello. Alva Crowley. Grania Colonan. Katie Cunningham. <laughs> Ashleen Curran. <laughs> Mariah Doran. Cheyenne Downey. <laughs> Ella Farrell. <laughs> Georgia Fitzgerald. Jane Fitzgerald. <laughs> Aoife Flanagan. <laughs> Maeve Gloucester. Kira Griffin. Kean Guerin. Geraldine Guru Ray. Grania Hayes. Rona Heaney. Anne Marie Hewitt. Laura Higgins. <laughs> G. 
Chimizi Kingsley Ibiabuchi. Sandra Igbinojin. <laughs> U Ikerunobe. Kimberly Justin. Kanara Keen. <laughs> Eloise Killing. Joseph Kimweni Sukadi. <laughs> Eva Kinsla. Zarmina Kustani. <laughs> Nicole Lamond. <laughs> Grace Leader. Shansalv Mambuana. Deirdre Manton. Quiva Martin. Francesca Martin. <laughs> Selena Mattingly. <laughs> Christina McCarthy. Aileen McDonough. <laughs> Chloe McGilligot. <laughs> Patrick McAvoy. <laughs> Kate McKenna. Chloe McMahon. <laughs> Ashling McNamara. <laughs> Lisa McNamara. Peter McNamara. Aaron Maloney. <laughs> J. 
Jane Morris. Sheena's M. Tifukanji. <laughs> Gavin Nolan. <laughs> Sarah Noonan. <laughs> Ethna O'Boyle. Grace O'Connell. <laughs> Sophie O'Connor. <laughs> Lara O'Dwyer. <laughs> Michelle O'Dwyer. Shauna O'Dwyer. Roy O'Halloran. <laughs> Andrew O'Keefe. Megan O'Neill. Shauna O'Neill. <laughs> Florence Okubanjo. Mark Pearl. <laughs> Kelly Quigley. <laughs> Veronica Racheska. Abigail Real Dawson. Sonia Redden. Aoife Ryan. Emily Ryan. Jella Ryan. <laughs> Teresa Shanahan. <laughs> Ellis Short. Dana Slattery. <laughs> Maya Sinsers. <laughs> Caitlin Tracy. <laughs> Katie Tynan. Jade Walsh. Sandra Woroska.
Sarah Wolska. <laughs> Eugene Woodland. For the Master of Arts in Social Care Management, Bumba Dile, Dile John Adenaje. <laughs> Hannah Caffrey. <laughs> Roisin Enright. Ashling Finucan, <laughs> Anya Glynn, <laughs> Holly Groves, <laughs> Leisha McCarthy. Aaron Monahan, Katie O'Dwyer, Mary Ryan, for the Master of Arts in the Psychotherapy of Relationship Mentoring. Yes, Anne Brannock. <laughs> Eileen Buckley. <laughs> Maria Burke. Anna Marie Fegan. <laughs> Jackie Furlong. <laughs> Steph Howard. Mary Leahy, <laughs> Geraldine O'Connor, <laughs> Susan O'Donohue, <laughs> Francis Tracy. Lucy Wolf, and for the Master of Arts in Research, Michael Murray. Get a whoop whoop. I now call on the Vice President for Research, Development and Innovation, Dr. Liam Brown, to con confer the Research Award of Doctor of Philosophy. So I hereby call on Sharon O'Flaherty to present for conferring.
So, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour that I present to you Ms Sharon O'Flaherty, who has successfully completed a course in the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Technology, Department of Applied Social Sciences in the Technological University of the Shannon, and is worthy of the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Sharon's research title is Diet Adjustment in Later Life, a Mixed Method Study Investigating Eating Behaviours in the Aging Population of Ireland. And the research supervisors, Dr. Matt Cannon and Ms. Agnes Boucher Hayes. Sharon has been an important part of the LIT. Tusk community since she began her undergraduate degree, a BA in social care work, graduating with her first class honours in 2016. <clears throat> During her undergraduate degree, Sharon continually impressed her lecturers with her commitment to social care, incredible work ethic, and her research, writing, and presentation skills. This culminated in her undergraduate thesis where she investigated food insecurity among single parent families in Ireland. The strength of her undergraduate thesis and her potential as a future research candidate was further highlighted with the receipt of a Social Care Ireland Award for academic excellence in recognition of her academic work. Based on her previous academic work, Sharon received a postgraduate scholarship to complete an MA transferring to a PhD in order to further investigate her research interests regarding inequality, psychology, and food studies. During her time at TUS, Sharon has won many awards for presenting her findings at national and international conferences. She has also been very successful in funding her research through a number of different funding calls. In addition to her commitment to study, Sharon has contributed to campus life as president of the Postgraduate Society in TUS 2018-2019. She's also a committed social care worker whose work in the homeless sector was featured during the pandemic as a frontline hero, providing valuable services when many were asked to remain at home. In addition to the professional challenges faced during the pandemic, Sharon faced personal challenges when she was diagnosed with cancer during her PhD research. While undergoing treatment, Sharon was able to complete her studies and submit her PhD. So the final result, diet adjustment in later life, a mixed method study investigating eating behaviours in the ageing population of Ireland is an impactful study which provides valuable insight into the factors that influence eating behaviours in the ageing population in Ireland. The study concludes with a number of very important recommendations on how policy can be used as a tool to improve health outcomes for the elderly and provides a strong foundation for future research and policy making in this critically important area. The award of the PhD marks a significant step in Sharon's research career where we recognise her future potential to contribute to her field as an expert and as a representative, a graduate of the Technological University of the Shannon, where she will always be welcomed back to her home campus. So I hereby call on the research supervisors, Dr. Matt Cannon and Ms. Agnes Boucher Hayes, to join the conferee on the stage. And the principal supervisor uh, uh, will, will go on, and, the, and Agnes will hat the conferee.
I, I, now, I, now call, I now call on Professor Vincent Canan, President of TUS, to confer the award. Thank you, President, and congratulations, Dr. O'Flaherty. I now call on the President, Professor Vincent Canaan, to, de to deliver his conferring address. Just when you thought it was all over, and I know you were hoping it was all over, but <clears throat> don't worry, I'll keep you for more than, well, 45, no, <laughs> I card you. To ask and do more than I knew, I guess <laughs> white lum a kid me to fall to a cur of galere. Friends, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the conferring ceremony of the class of 2022. To the graduates, your parents, guardians, relations, partners and friends. There's also, of course, an audience watching remotely around Ireland and around the world. And I'd also like to give you a very special welcome. Yesterday, we exceeded a thousand people uh, on our stream. The conferring of academic awards is the highlight of the academic calendar and a special occasion for our community. But as our chair has said earlier, you, the class of 2022, have had a remarkable journey to this day and hold and will always hold a very special place in the unfolding story of the Technological University of the Shannon. You did indeed meet a unique, a unique set of challenges to get here today. The college life that you were, had grown accustomed to it changed fundamentally in March of 2020. But you stuck with it you persevered, and in so doing, you displayed a willingness to do things differently, to broaden your horizons, and to innovate. You became pioneers in a pioneering university. You succeeded in adversity by adapting to change. And I'm going to reflect for a moment on what that might mean for you and for the society that you live in. This university, your university, was born against the backdrop of a pandemic, just as your qualification was earned against that same backdrop. At the same time you were moving your studies online in 2020, so too the foundational work of the university that we now call TUS moved online. Its foundation was an act of perseverance and a statement of innovation. We emerged as a new institution using new technologies to reach out to the world, whilst building on a deeply held ethic of inclusiveness and a heritage of education that goes back generations. And just over a year ago, in the largest higher education event in the world that day, we launched TUS, with well over 3,500 people joining our live stream and 400 people attending in Athlone and here in Moilish. Your university was thus born of change, and in the future will grow through embracing such change. And this is a reflection of our world, a world where the ability to drive change and to adapt to change will be defining characteristics in our society. It will be challenging, but it also can be very powerful. You all now have an internationally recognised qualification that, as I said, you earned 
in unprecedented circumstances. And in so doing, you have displayed the ability to adapt to extraordinary change in order to achieve your goals. And you know this intuitively. You have done it. And this is powerful. And in a way, this is a small superpower. You've seen more change over the course of your studies than students had seen for generations previously. And today, you graduate with your qualification so very well deserved. But, but before you can realize these newfound powers, you need to reflect on what you may have lost during this time as well. Since whilst you have grown certain skills, you, indeed all of us, have in some way lost something of our relationship with society as a whole. The skills of interaction and the experience of social mores that were denied to you for so long must be redeveloped to match the incredible strength that you have shown. You must not become an avatar of yourself. You must re-engage with society, physically and emotionally. The nature of the experience that you went through, the fact that you had to face separation from others, and that you had to retreat from communal life, must be acknowledged. But it should not lead any of you to conclude that you are an island. On the contrary, while you may have been isolated, you were never alone. And these days there is a tendency towards the cult of personality. And I do sincerely hope that that will not be heightened even further in our emerging post-pandemic era. Because communities, communities are now more important to us all than ever before. And you are part of a community, part of a number of communities, evolving communities, changing communities, some older communities, and the onus on you as graduates, the onus on you is to create new communities as well. The great writer Kurt von der Gutt, when addressing a graduating class just like this, he asked that they work on, and I quote, building or strengthening our communities. Please love that destiny if it turns out to be yours, for communities are all that substantial about the world. He lived through the last war in Europe and saw a huge change come about through crisis. So he knew what he was talking about and his views resonate again today. So you must use these new powers for your wider societal good whilst re-engaging with all that you may have lost. So Tus, your alma mater, is also focused on building and strengthening our communities. And not just now, but into the future. As unclear as that future may seem at times. And speaking about technological universities now for a moment. Technological universities are not just new universities. We are new kinds of universities that combine international scale with local and regional impact. But we also represent the advancement of a long-standing and successful concept of higher education, combining practical learning and research that will impact on our world to create a virtuous cycle for individuals, families, communities, society, and the wider economy. As such, the technological universities are an innovation potentially allowing society to get ahead of future challenges rather than just responding after they happen. And like all innovations, we represent change and with it, the inherent risk that goes with it. We represent the need for our system, the higher education system, and the way in which it operates overall, to look deeply at what it does, the way that it does it, and to adapt itself so that society can reap the huge potential that these technological universities represent here in Ireland. And this is not a time for risk aversion, but rather it's a time for risk taking. And if we look at the Irish higher education system, 
It probably has more than a quarter of a million people in it at any given time. But systems, and a system of that size, can have a tendency to resist change, to absorb the perturbation of change rather than adapt to it. And this must change. These systems must change because it is easier now, it's easier to innovate now than to respond later. But today, you, the graduates, you are the most important people in that system. You have led the way. And rest assured that your university will lead the way and the system will follow. But just on reflecting on your journey with us, I recognize the challenges that you have faced and I am inspired by your ability to overcome them. You embody the inescapable fact that change is inherent in life, that it will most likely be a constant in your life. But if you embrace it, then you and society will be the better for it. You are now graduates of this technological university and you are all part of this community. And we will contribute to that society and we will strengthen the wider economy. And graduates, this is a community that you are in for the rest of your lives. No getting out. But as I mentioned earlier, you did not make it to this momentous occasion on your own. To those who supported you along the way, heartiest congratulations. You too are part of our community, and today is a major milestone for you. But I might ask the graduates now to stand up and face your parents and family and friends and maybe give them a round of applause for all they've done for you along this journey. It's not bad, it's a bit lukewarm, but um, <laughs> that and your first paycheck may go a long way to helping things. Now, to the staff of TUS who have helped bring you to this day, I also extend my deep thanks and appreciation. You too adapted to change. You continue to adapt to change. And ultimately, you all overcame huge challenges to ensure that our graduates could be here today. I want to congratulate you all and I look forward to continuing working with you on our own transformation journey. But thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Finally, we're nearly there. To the graduates, I'm sure that I speak for all my colleagues when I say that we have enjoyed your company, both virtual and real and physical in this community while you were a student. We will continue to watch your journey with great interest and pride. Let me encourage you to stay in touch with each other and with us in the years to come. I congratulate you again on your successful studies and I wish you all the best for your future, both professionally and personally. We hope that you will return to visit and fondly remember your time with us. Go hard as a Cree live Galair. Congratulations from the heart to you all. I hope that despite everything, you've had the time of your lives. Gurumi and Magov Galer. We come now to our final award for today, a special award for the Student of the Year in the Faculty of Applied Science and Technology. I call on the Chairperson and the President to present the award. The 2022 Student of the Year Award goes to Ludmila Sevjakova.
We come now to the end of today's conferring ceremony. I wish to take this opportunity to thank the Assistant Registrar, Dr. Carl Glynn, and all the staff associated with the planning and organisation of this conferring ceremony. We invite our graduates and guests to join us afterwards in the Scholars' Restaurant for refreshments. I now declare this conferring ceremony closed. Please stand for the academic procession. And this time we invite the graduates to join the procession.
Take a load to free. Take a load off Annie. And you put the load, stick the load right on me. Picked up my page. We're looking for a place to hide. Then I saw Carmen and the devil and just walk in side by side. I said, oh, wait a minute, Carmen. Come on, let's go downtown. She said, I've got to go, but my friend can't stay 